Gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, would you please pray silence for the mother of the bride. Well, unfortunately, the speech is the first, and I'm the first speech, so you'll have to put up with me. But first of all, I'd like to say thank you to everybody for coming. Every single one of you have been invited because you're a friend, a blood relative, and we had to. <laughs> or we needed you here anyway. So thank you so much for making this day wonderful for all of us and being part of it. And it's a new beginning for Lauren and Dan into married life. Although I think they've practiced quite long enough anyway. <laughs> so talking about new beginnings, I can remember when Dan, uh, when Lauren came home from work one day to tell me that there was a real cutie at work called Dan. <laughs> and then she came back and she said, I've asked him for dinner, Mum. And I went, oh, how nice is that? She said, yeah, you're cooking it, but you're going upstairs when you've done, so he's not to know. I think about four months later, he found out I'd actually cooked his first official meal by Lauren. <laughs> so he became part of the family really quick. And for those of you who don't know, we used to have a little Jack Russell called Max. Beautiful, big brown eyes, waggy tail, hated yeah, people, really hated people. Well, he played some games with Dan. He'd follow him around and he'd wag his tail and he'd let Dan put his hand down. He'd put his little nose in there and his tail would be going and Dan would go to pet him and... That was it, didn't he? And how many times did we do that? Twice. Dan walk in the room next to him and go, don't come near me. Advice so, again. Yeah, definitely. I think a lot of people have got scars from Max. <laughs> Rest in peace. Um, so anyway, so one day I'm sat at home and I get a knock on the door and Dan's at my door and asks if he can come in. And he came round to ask me if he could Lauren da uh, marry Lauren. And I've got to say at first, I said, are you sure what drugs are you on? I, said, <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't have been more honoured that he felt the need to come and ask me and that he respected me as her mum and Lauren as the woman she is. So I've got to say, it did bring a tear to my eye. So he asked and I said, yes, God. <laughs> I did say, when's it gonna be? Next week, have we got it in, are we coming? Um, uh, he was absolutely fabulous. So I did say to him as well, sell and no return. And I <laughs> promised, I've asked him several times over the last couple of weeks, sell and no return. Yeah? yeah, yeah. Have or not? Yeah? yeah. Stands, yeah. sell and no return. So from that day on, my beautiful daughter has slowly worked up to being Bride Villa. <laughs> she is <laughs> definitely. <laughs> she has worked endlessly to get you, ladies and gentlemen, here from your room from your invitations coming, to every decoration on the table, to the flowers, to the bridesmaids' dresses. She's been creative, she's been determined, she's been quite manipulative. We've all got our little bits in that we've had to do, haven't we, Anne? Yeah. <laughs> but I've got to say, between the pair of them, they've worked so hard to make this the day they wanted and they visualised. So what I want to do is say thank you once again for coming and can we raise a toast to the bride and groom? Yeah. Here, here. Yeah. Cheers. Oh, not sure about Bride and groom. Yeah, bride and groom. And one last thing. Is that all right? Thank you for having me. Thank you for having me. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Now, Uh, so thank you, Jackie, for those lovely words, uh, and thank you to everyone coming today. And it, <laughs> thank you, <laughs> uh, and especially for making the trip here. It means everything to me and, Bill, and Lauren. Oh, What's Lauren? Lauren. There are going to be a few thank yous during my speech. So obviously, just make sure your glasses are full, which I'm pretty sure they are. Uh, we do have gifts for people, which we have got behind, and I will be giving them out during my speech. Um, unfortunately, obviously the little sad bit, it's not been possible to have everyone here we love today, uh, but we know they're with us in spirit, and if not only in our thoughts today, but more importantly, they're with us in our hearts. Uh, so you could, if you could just raise a glass to have some friends and family. Absolutely. Friends and family. Thank you. Sad bit out of <laughs> So first I'd like to thank Jackie. Uh, from the first day I met you, you made me really feel like part of the family, and which I can't thank you enough. I always remember the first time I came round to your house and asking me if I knew what I was getting myself in for. <laughs> and that I had still had time to run away, but fortunate for Lauren, 
I'd already fallen for her. Aww. But the ten thousand pound day, down payment definitely helped. <laughs> <laughs> it was worth everything. Yeah. Everything. Uh, you've done a fantastic job raising her into a beautiful, kind, and caring person, and it's not hard to see that she's learnt a lot of these qualities from you. Aww. 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 And while we're on the subject of fantastic children, I'd like to say thank you to my mum. <laughs> for everything you have done for me over the years, for everything you have sacrificed to make sure I had the best possible start in life. And I am so grateful for everything you have done for me. And I wouldn't be half the man I am today without you. I also want to thank you for accepting Lauren into the family and for always making her feel like she's always belonged. It means the world to me. How much you get along? Uh, so if you could all raise a glass. Uh, to the mums. To the, the mums. Uh, I would also like to thank everyone who has contributed towards our special day uh, for your help and support in making today happen and for making it everything we could have wished for. Uh, you have all done so much behind the scenes and today it really couldn't have happened without you. So, again, if you could raise your glasses uh, to family and friends. Family, family and friends. friends. I'd, I'd like to say a few words about the bridesmaids, um, you don't have bow. I'm sure everyone will agree when I say they all look stunning. I know I speak on behalf of Lauren and myself, but I know you've all made her day being here. I'm also a very proud moment to have both of my sisters um, as bridesmaids, as well as good friends with Lauren. And not only now are you friends, but you're now family. Sisters! Uh, so, <laughs> <laughs> so if you raise a glass to bridesmaids. Bridesmaids! bridesmaids. Now a little bit about my best man. Uh, we've been friends for a long time, I can remember. And you've always been a great all the way through this, making sure I wouldn't. Well, I've lost my shot. And I would like to say you've kept me calm, but we both know if I, if I was any more laid back, I'd be horizontal. <laughs> <laughs> you've been great giving me a kick up the bone, which I'm sure Lauren will agree, because if not, I, I have no doubt I would be stood here in jeans and a t-shirt. <laughs> True. <laughs> I'd also like to say thank you for such a unique stag do. <laughs> and all I will say is I will never watch Coyote Ugly the same way. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to say the video isn't available, but that would be a lie. <laughs> uh, and thank you to all, all my groomsmen as well, Lee and Adam, who have been two of my closest friends since starting school and have been a great support throughout my life. Uh, James, Stephen and Kevet. Kevin. Kev, Kev, Kev Lavelle, same full name. <laughs> uh, and I just want to say it's been an honour to have you here today, and I know it has meant the world to Lauren, everybody being here. Uh, so if you could raise your glasses to the groomsmen. To the groomsmen. I know, yeah. I've stopped drinking last now. One, and last but no means by least, my wife. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I'd like to take this opportunity first to say thank you for all your hard work that you've put into planning today, making the flowers, table decorations, place cards and pretty much everything else that comes along with planning a wedding. And today definitely couldn't have happened without you. Secondly, I want to tell you how stunning you truly look today and that I am extremely lucky to be able to call you my wife as well as my best friend. I have never met anyone as kind, caring and selfless as you. I will, I will also spend the rest of my life making sure you are happy as you have made me the last five years. Uh, so for the last time, if you could be upstanding, oh. to the wife. <laughs> to the wife! <laughs> now I'm going to hand you across the deal. We're going to yeah. get after then. Oh yeah, I'll yeah, get after. <laughs> Come on, side track. Come on, Dale. Come on, Dale. <laughs> Only reason I've got married this. So, thanks all for coming to celebrate with Daddy and Lauren on their wedding day. I'm sure you'll all agree with me, she looks amazing. Lauren, I hope you know what you've, what you've let you said for marrying this one. I know. You know what it's like. I know. There's always divorce. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> Please. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm killing you off. Yeah. So let's get on with it then. As if I had a beer, I'll probably fall up fluer. <laughs> plenty of time for that later, wouldn't we, Dan? Yeah. I've no dance in school. Before we were old enough to drive, we spent most of our time outside and at Dan's mum's house, usually up to no good. So I need to say a big thanks to Dan's mum's for putting up with us, because we pretty much live, well, I pretty much live there at one point anyway. We never were we at the dance. Dan's always been a typical lad. We used to set fires, blow stuff up. <laughs> when he got his hands on some bangers, we thought it was Christmas Day. You should have seen his faces. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, sorry, Angela, your garden was sick of eight bar <laughs> Dan also filled a bin full of spray paint once, which I then lit. 
<laughs> Play a ball. Took my eyebrows off and I nearly lost an arm. <laughs> Cheers, Dan. Ten hours in A&E. <laughs> Dan's always loved many things in life. Scooters, cars, and as we all know, drinking. And, uh, oh yeah, Lauren, you too. <laughs> he first had a go at my school when he was 16. Shame he crashed it straight into the curb and nearly went flying off handlebars. <laughs> Cheers for that, Dan, as well, mate. This then led on to his love for cars. His first car was Saxo. Now, I don't know if anyone saw that, but he absolutely loved it. Biggest speakers I have ever seen in book. <laughs> anyone? Adam, I know you definitely saw it. <laughs> the good thing were, though, never needed to know anyone coming around because I could hear him my life. <laughs> Most of you all know Dan, uh, will know that he loves a good night out. He was always end up messy. He loves Sambuca. Absolutely loves it, don't you? Yeah. Come on, let's face it. Years of abuse. <laughs> Once he's had a few, I've been knocking them moves out on dance floor. He has some unique moves, which he calls his signature moves. Now, I'm sure you'll all see them later, unless you want to show us one now. No. 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 <laughs> On his stag do, I think we worked out we drank about 200 shots, Mark, is that right? At least. Yeah. Definitely. At least. Yeah. Got on the bar topping quite ugly and got whipped and walked across the club on a dog leash. <laughs> All for 50 euros. <laughs> Best 50 quid ever spent. Yeah. yeah, definitely. Just hope you can remember most of it, pal. Have you still got whip marks? No, they've gone. <laughs> they, have gone. they have gone. Now, they have now there is gone. a video to show it if anybody wants to see that video. We've, we've got yeah, it. we've got it. <laughs> is there a car? Now, a joke I, I've always had with Lauren is his love for Argos. Now, I'm sure, Lauren, you'll be over this didn't happen, but on his stag do, we were going to get him uh, a tattoo on his butt cheek of Argos. He's <laughs> <laughs> not had that done, so... No, I don't have checked. <laughs> Danny's got two girls in his life, one here today and one's with the dog sitter. I hope you can handle be, uh, not being Dan's main girl, Lauren, because we both know when Roxy's around, she's his number one. She definitely <laughs> is. Definitely. So I'll make most of tonight, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Well. <laughs> I've got to know Lauren since they've been together, and I know she's going to be perfect for Dan. They are complete opposites, which is why they work so well. She gives him a kick up ass when he needs it, and he calms her down when she's having a bad day. Honestly, though, never seen Dan this happy, and it's all down to you, Lauren. So, Thank well, you. Aww. Dan's top bloke, and one of the nicest guys you'll ever meet. One last thing, though, Dan. Just slide your wedding ring off just a little bit. This is the only time you'll ever be able to take your wedding ring off. Just have a look on inside. Is there a thumbprint on there? No. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Lauren, I thought you said you were going to get it imprinted. Because she told me you were always going to be on the thumb. Is that not the case? It's not like permanently there. Oh, well. No, all jokes apart, though, these two are amazing. So if you could all raise your glasses to the happy couple. Happy couple. Thank you. Lauren. Thank you. Thank Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. That's the end of the speeches. I would like to.